Hey, what's hey. up, guys? Jack, Henry, and Bob from Fandom Hello. here, and we are checking out the Splatoon 2 Global Test Fire, which went live like seven minutes ago. Yep, uh, for one right solid here. hour. I can just jump right into this then? Yeah, you can okay. just jump right into it. Let's just like... Whoa! Just All right, number one, I gotta turn off this crap. <laughs> this, uh, this... Whatever. Oh, I have to do this? Yeah, you think you gotta do it in the practice first. Ooh, and it wants you to play with that thing, huh? Mm. Uh, I don't care for this. How's it going, everybody? That's good, yeah. Watson, but this yeah, is the their... first thing you said about it is, I don't, I don't like this. Well, I, I never played with, um... With the gyroscope controls when I was oh, doing hell it no. on, uh, on Wii U, because it's like, <laughs> I, I want to win this game, I don't want to yeah. uh, be moving a giant hoverboard around my face. Yeah. What, but Splatoon was such a cool, like, first, uh, it was Nintendo finally figuring out how to make a Nintendo shooter. An online Nintendo shooter, they never do that, you know? It definitely was like a learning experience for them, which is why I kind of like, Splatoon 2 seems uh, very cool in that it like, seems like they figured it out. Yeah, it's like, uh, I was surprised that it was so, um, I guess not behind the times. It had an Overwatch-style uh, unlock system and things like that. In the first Splatoon, it was very, uh, very thoughtful for, I like for they a first kept, attempt. They kept it going for so long, too. Like, no, we're gonna keep updating it. Like, free updates. Like, and that it became one of the top sellers the Wii U ever saw. Like, right, right up there with Smash Brothers. Right, like, all right, Bob. What did you load out? I'm a splat roller guy because I. Oh, suck. so you're one of the painters. Well, you. You always got to be painting with the splat roller. E like, it's an important e responsibility. I like it because, well, in general, I like Splatoon because even when you're not attacking other players, you have a goal. Yeah. So even when you're passively doing something, you're still helping your team, which is why I think this game really is great because it's you can be a defensive player. You can be uh, on the on the back line instead of the front lines. Yeah, it's not. If you're just focused, I, I guess like Overwatch as well, if you're just focused on killing the other people or getting all the kills, like, you're gonna lose. Yeah. Like, you've gotta... Oh! Woo! Oh, boy. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Well, well uh, I can at least fix my controls now. You have to understand, folks, this is a uh, this is a test fire, which means uh, they're trying to figure out if this will work or not. So, so most controls go off because I am a human being. Yeah, but... look, it's nice that they tried that. It's nice of them to try that, but it's just like, dude, it's not, I don't like that. Yeah. I had that at the event, too, when I played this demo. Maybe give it another shot here? Yeah, I was like, do I have to do this? And they said yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you like motion controls in Splatoon, let us know. I couldn't I couldn't deal with it. And if you're the one of the lucky people that has, oh boy, all right. Hey, hey, man, look at those. Do it. Man, those Japanese Fandom, people. There he is. Yeah, those Japanese people are either up late or or really early. Like it's um, subtract eight hours. It's four a.m. in Tokyo right now. Mm. Like that's or maybe seven hours and whatever. Like it is super early in Japan. So those have to be the hardest core of Splatoon players. I think it's from three a.m. All right, now all we got to do is wait 105 seconds. Yeah, well, all see, right. so one of the big differences between this game and the, the first game is that in the first game, you always had that map in front of you. So when you want to jump to places on the map, you would touch it. They do something different on this one. Mm -hmm. so I forget what actually happens on this one, but you don't have that touch screen in front of you. Yeah, it's a nice change. All right, straight into it. Let's see how Splatoon 2, which I was also surprised. I thought they were just going to do a Splatoon port. They're just like, this is... Just a port of it, but just go full on in Splatoon 2. And I'm happy they didn't change that. Oh, uh, you got a couple. Oh, okay, they got two rollers on their team. So I'm not used you know, to. You just spread it out. The, yeah, your first option is spread it out on your side of the map and just get it all covered up. Yeah. So uh, one thing is that without that map on your touchpad, it's hard to look at a glance and where should I go to spreading. So it's Ooh, a little yeah, different. Yeah, definitely missing that. That's true. You can see the percentage in the upper right, but uh, you pull up the map with X, they said, but uh, that like, yeah, oh, takes yeah. you out of it for a second. That's one major difference. I wonder if I'm going to be able to adapt to that. Cause, uh, when I play with the paint roller, I was I always glance down, like, where can I go yeah. where no enemies are? Yeah. That's the so, game territory. That's so funny that a game can, like is now being hurt by not being on the Wii U. Like, <laughs> yes, the vital Wii U functionality. Almost nobody used the Wii U that way, and, like developers. Almost no developers Nintendo included. Like, if you played the Donkey Kong game they made for you, yes, uh, yeah. ooh, nice. If you played the Donkey Kong uh, game, yeah. yeah. 
And then Donkey Kong game like for Wii U, it barely used that map. Or it barely used this map. Ah. Yeah, alright, you are killing it, Bob. I own so many people at the Nintendo events. Uh, uh, I was one of those people who, was, who knew they were playing at someone who never played Splatoon before, so that was me. Yeah, but well, hey. I'm gonna destroy you. You're never gonna see these people again. I'll probably. be nice about it. Yeah. It's like a middle Asian zester. Well, what is a Switch? I think I'll play this game. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand it. I remember, like, playing this for the first time in E3 with everybody experience because it was just like, ev everybody was like, what? Yeah. yeah. We were all... like, the second time through there, I was like, just cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember the surprise of playing the first Platoon on... Uh, at that E3 event of just thinking like, oh, this is what you guys are doing, and when I interviewed the, the guys making it, uh, I swear, Miyamoto had said on the thing like, oh, these are the younger team, like, these are the newer guys in, in, who, who've been looking to make this, and then when I asked them, like, so, uh, you know, Miyamoto said you guys are, are new to this, and I, I've worked here for 15 years. I guess if you oh. worked there for 15 years, you are the new 15 guy 15 years is new compared yeah. to... 40, yeah, like, like uh, other other people there, but uh, they got people who like invented the game Nintendo. Yes, yes. Let's, Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh and you cool. killed that dude. Yep. All right. Um, as always, guys, you can see the chat uh, right there on the side of your screen. So feel free to interact with us. First question from Liner Captain, friend of the show, is what is the aim of this game? Uh, let's explain. Put two for you oh, guys. Oh, you Since never. You yeah. Maybe don't oh, know. Night eye. Um. Well, what? Not Every many people are going to use. So it's a it's a team based shooter yep. where you are trying to cover the map in your team's paint. So it's class based, and everyone has different kinds of weapons. Um, you can attack each other. But your main focus is trying to paint this map uh, like your team's color. As Bob is doing here, but there also you so, like, if you kill, if you take out enemies, then they're not spreading their color around. But the color is the main objective. And so now at the end of the match, you'll get that overhead look. Boy, look at this. This is always good. Some good guys. really tense. Yeah. Whoa! By one. One. one percent! I love when that Eight, happens. Uh, three points. You won by three points. I thought points. we were going to lose. Oh, wow, yeah, it looks if like you yeah. asked me which color and more were looking there, I would have said that. Like, oh, and you were the top more. performer, baby. Yeah. 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 Quit now. Yes, uh, I'm gonna retire. Out. I'm gonna retire from yeah, Splatoon. Fan Phantom's top. Uh, and so yeah, you play as an inkling. You're either squid or kid, or are you're a squid and a kid? You change at will. And yes, you, yeah, <laughs> there's a really a rich, deep lore. And if you play the single player part of the original game, it's like humanity went it went extinct because they played too many video games or something. I forget. <laughs> it's it's true, some yeah. it's some weird dark uh, like parable about humanity. But yeah. now squid kids run the world and they have these ink competitions. I don't know. I'm sure we have a wikia entry on this. Oh, totally. The fandom. We should uh, look up the, the fandom wiki. Three yeah. rollers the on one team. That's not a balanced team. Oh, we can make it work. It's like it's like a we roll with a bunch of maze. Overlap. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it works though. Or a bunch of tracers. It seems like the most uh, impossible team. But but I think, and so you reload, your ink is your ammo, and you have to reload your ink by diving into your own ink and yeah. turning into a squid. And you move faster like that, too, so it's good to make yourself escape. Well, meanwhile, you move much slower while maneuvering through someone else's ink, and you can also, like, uh, kind of like rocket yourself out of the ink while in squid form in the ink. And I just, uh, oh, 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 double kill! That happens a lot with a roller on a roller. Oh, I'm really tough, man. So yeah, Bob can just zip. I gotta get this. I gotta uh, get this. All right, yeah, you're right. Next time, Next time if I you will. die again, yeah. do the blast out of that. But yeah, people, if you treat it just like a shooter and go straight to like, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta go forward to where the action is, and you're not painting your main area yeah. that the on your side that the bad guys aren't going to. Like you should be shooting before you even see the enemy, just to build yeah. yourself a path, just to you know coat the arena with ink. It's a really great uh, or great cover concept. up where somebody else covered something. Yeah, it's it's really it is the kind of very clever Nintendo approach to a shooter. Like anybody can make a game where you shoot other people, but this definitely feels like the kind of thing. Um, Miyamoto would have just said, like, no, I need more. Like, don't just shoot. Like, it's not just about shooting people. Yeah. And so, yeah, the, uh, you can also see how much of your team is around. Ooh. But it can go just like that. Like, it, it's just a constant battle over it. And you can see on the map there, look, it's just right in the floor. Hey, uh, where's the, uh... Let's hold X for the launch. Uh, okay. Here. I'm not sure. Where's the, um, the D-pad thing? 
Is there a D-pad? Oh, uh, it must be like down on D-pad. That's, that's the D-pad. D-pad. Oh. They're buttons with their arrows. Oh, what? Where is it? Oh, no, that oh, was a screen button. Oh. Thing. No, the C button. There we go. I did it. I did it. Yeah, sorry. We did it. <laughs> we don't have a pro controller. Okay? No, we don't. It's like uh, there. So that kind of shows that there might be too many buttons on the Switch control players. Yeah. Well, because it has to be used as two controllers yeah. or one. Controller. They need identical functionality, so uh, that's why. It's a tough, tough task, baby. Uh, I, I also just love the design on the squid, like when you're when you uh, turn the squid. Oh yeah. Nice All right. Thing. And you can go, you can take cover in it too, like it, but that's also why you want to lay out more more of your paint so you can uh, cover yourself up. But that guy had a paint grenade there. Double take out again. I need to use my special power. So once you fill up a meter by using ink and killing other opponents or down. inking them, uh, you get that special power. Oh, uh, you're not going to have time for it this time, Bob. I know. Uh, I can, you can still, do it around this guy. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> just just as I tried to do it. Hey, I think uh, I don't think it's one. looking good. Oh yeah. no no what? I think well, oh, I, I love those cats. So that guy's so new. That that yeah. That non- oh my oh, goodness. Rectum. Yeah, that yeah, non Garfield yeah. cat is the best. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just love that its fur has the coloring of a tuxedo, but it's not really a tuxedo. Tuxedo cats are the cutest. They are really cute. So. What feature are you guys like most hoping comes to this game? What? God. Uh, no, I like I like that they added. Uh, it's I'm not seeing it much in here though. Maybe you should change your loadout to like if the oh, two yeah. gun thing is in here. Next match, I will exit out and get another weapon. Mm. But the uh, but like they have the twin gun edition now, and they also have like kind of the. Actually, like Mario Sunshine style, like flying device of just like spitting the paint out your back and then flying around with it, which looks pretty neat. I think honestly, the the first game was so perfectly executed that it's hard to think of more things to add that would make it better. Just like more maps or whatever. Yeah, just just more maps, more weapons, more uh, outfits. Yeah, more outfits is kind of like like cosmetic stuff. I I was like, I want some like self expression with my pink wings. They can make so much more money on it. I also wonder. Oh yeah. Ridiculous. I don't want to tell the company that, but yeah. uh, I want every. I would buy an inkling outfit for my guy. I want every amiibo to give you a distinct outfit. Every Ooh, amiibo yeah. you buy, even yeah. if it's just colors, that'd be great. Like I want the duck hunt dog. Uh, the color outfit. children. Yes, and the. Uh, but is that a popsicle commercial? Uh, yeah. That's the colors. The colors. It is a it's a Simpsons. Oh, um, Chris is Simpsons. Why would I ever guess anything else? Yeah. You don't know what it is. It's the Simpsons. It's the Simpsons. Yeah, that's uh, actually I think of that one often. It's when Professor Frank is telling the kids that they can't play with a toy because they won't appreciate it on the level he does. Ah, uh, I was gonna kill my bomb, and then he just goes like, "Oh, the colors, children." Can we get new team? It's hot. Now that's a Tim and Eric. Yes. Wow, we're full. We're full of all the references. Kids love. <laughs> I think kids love new team. I really like the like aesthetic of this game. I think this is kind of like. It, this feels like the post-apocalyptic world of Jet Set Radio. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. it's like, You're not wrong. Yeah. It's, In kind fact, of, it's the cartoony like extension of that. I think that's like. Oh, I know the ball. It is weird, Jack, in that uh, I feel this is a game made for, you know, modern a modern kid audience. It's not a kid's game, but I feel like this game is very much the 90s. Like, the 90s I grew up in with these crazy colors and slime, and it just feels like a, the Nickelodeon game we well, never got. Well, just super yeah. hot colors, yeah. yeah. Like, the, I don't mean sexual, I mean, like, it's the yeah. hot. Hey, that, that's what it's doing for me. I like that, that you have to clarify that nowadays hot... The secondary <laughs> definition of hot is, is hot with temperature. Like. Yeah. Well, I also like that people are being allowed to be... gradient on their paint, too. It was like, yeah. Oh. It, well, it's also a weird thing that today... Well, not weird. I, I like it. That it's just more accepted in social media to be like, I'm attracted, this, I'm attracted to this made-up character. Like, oh, yeah. It's not just for weirdos anymore. Uh, there's a, and, yeah, the everybody's trending for best. topic right now on Twitter oh. yeah, is, uh, is called make a cartoon attractive and it's mostly people being like what do you mean make a cartoon attractive like yeah. i'm already into them we're all turned out by these cartoons. yeah this is you know this is, we all grew up having cartoon yeah. crushes and now look at everything now we can just admit it finally gosh man if, if tumblr existed when i was a kid <laughs> i would 
I probably wouldn't be dating people. I probably <laughs> would have like a body pillow, like for example. I would be like, this is fine. The human yeah. race will eventually be extinct because of fandoms. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're helping. We're helping a fandom. Do your just, special just thing, Bob. Right. Right. Yeah. It'll just cause new like uh, technology. We'll have to like, figure out better ways to do like, like. Test tube babies because everyone will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're we're done with the uh, oh, oh barely. It's so close. He's so cute. He's really yeah. cute. I'm gonna exit out of this and choose a different weapon though. All right, yeah, I should get some more of this. Um, uh, yeah, uh, you well, sold you sold front Leors on the uh, crush roller. Oh, cool. Yeah, crush I mean, roller is. Is my favorite weapon as well. I love it. I don't think it's OP or anything. I think it's for a certain kind of player. I don't like to be on the front lines, and I hate All sniping. Right, two guns, baby. Splat dualies. That's fine. You can roll with these, which is a new thing. Oh, interesting. Uh, I I also think it's funny with how the people they design these characters. They design the characters they think are the hot characters, and everybody's like, "No, I want to have sex with the weird one." Uh -huh. wanna, like I'm not like people, I've definitely seen men and women on Twitter go like, "Look, Zell Link is cute, sure, but Sida uh, Sidon is what is everybody's into." Man? Yeah, yeah, the Shark I'm, Man. Yeah. I'm a cast fan myself. And I know, like, yeah, I, I like know, like, this. logically, I like and my brain's not gonna work. Like, how you make out with that beak? Like, but like, <laughs> that's not even where I'm at. Like, it's like, just whatever. Well, he'll so, like, rub his face on. We'll make it work. Like, yeah, yeah, it's work. Like, he'll he'll hold me in his arms. <laughs> like, still, it's really just his barrel chest <laughs> I'm into. It's kind of like. Well, I like. Yeah, I mean, there's something just into like a big he burly. Would vomit guy. into your mouth, by the way. That's part that's of the good. He, Like he's really that's that's very caring. That he would like that means he cooked for me, right? Yeah. Like, and then he, oh, and then he yeah, ate yeah. it. And then he it's part of he bird culture. Bob Sorry, is a bird owner. Yeah, I am so. bird owner. He's bringing he's bringing a lot of reality of bird the, of uh, parents. Your bird this. will try to feed you sometimes, and you have to say no thanks. <laughs> I don't want your bird food. <laughs> But uh, but just in look wise, I like about Cast that he is he is a burly sized guy, but who also has like just feathers and cuteness to him, and like flowers. Like it's a nice nice balance of toughness with with attractiveness. I'm, I'm just glad they brought back the bird people because they weren't even allowed in the um, in the handheld games. They were just yeah. morons and whatever. Yeah, they were really missing from a. Yeah, uh, spirit guys. And uh, they weren't really in. Oh no, they were in Skyward. They were in Skyward the other day. Yeah, look at that! Oh, yes. Wow! Ball. Oh my goodness! Ball. Yes. And see, that is totally Mario Sunshine. I go back to where I used to go. Actually, my first uh, in my first interview with them, I asked if if, if, if this was 2013. I asked if Splatoon was inspired by Mario Sunshine. They said no, even though they worked with some of the Sunshine staff, and then they said that the, the Sunshine staff just looked at it and were like, oh, we had that technology back then, like, we could have done so much more than just the water and stuff we did. Like, Mario could just erase me, he could add more me. Yeah. The game just could not do this. No, totally not. Oh, gotta pull that up. Uh, oh, oh, it wasn't the, oh yeah, okay, so it wasn't, that was a game. Game. It wasn't one of those things that stays. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I'm a fan of the um, the warping in this game, the jumping. It just kind of takes you out of the game for too long. Yeah, it's like, there you go. Uh, but I also uh, back to sexy character. I, <laughs> I think too. I've seen I've seen a lot of people into the uh, the uh, Gerudo ladies as well in that game. Like they. Oh yeah, definitely. I love they have those lines. Like one of my favorite lines is where you pretend to be a Ger uh, Gerudo there and. One woman says, "Like, oh, surely not! I can't even see your abs." <laughs> that they, they you just have like lift. sculpted abs to be in the Gerudo guard. Or also that they don't treat they treat Link as a woman when he dresses as the Gerudo. Yeah, while well, cool. also giving hints that they know they know he's they know they know that he is biologically male, but they or assigned male at birth, perhaps. Yeah, or, and like that. It's weird that that whole scene is is very interesting because it's it starts so problematically yeah. and then like and then they kind of like they just stop and I'm, I'm curious about whether or not they knew 
the extent to which they were like doing it right at the end part. I, I think the, uh, the Garudo, Gerudo, Gerudo, how do you say? I, I think Gerudo. Gerudo. Yeah, Gerudo. I mean, they've always been problematic. They, they extend their race by kidnapping cartridge players. Yeah. yeah the way. kidnapping is not talked. To, they they actually put it more in in. Uh, oh, did they do that in the um in this game too? In Breath of the Wild too. In, in Breath I didn't of the Wild, get there yet. they bring it up, but the women. Oh boy, yeah. you're better. You are better as well. But um, we didn't even have a role in your team, though. Was kind of that's true. Nobody like, was being a role. You were yeah, easily the like, star. I think you just had a bad team. Yeah. But in Come Breath on, of, Leo. In Breath Hendrick. Of, <laughs> that's how. I, that's how my middle name is spelled. Wow. With just the K, that dude's Dutch. Huh. Uh, but in Breath of the Wild, they more so put it like um, that the Gerudo, the uh, Gerudo ladies, they go on, they go to find a husband, but it is not kidnapping. They're just like, it's time for you to leave, and if you can find a husband, bring him back. Like, but it, it is very much consensual. They open there. up uh, Tinder on their Sheikah slates. <laughs> well, I swipe, mean. Swipe. More so, the creepiness in that game is on the guy side of like, there's all these dudes outside the village who are just like, oh, I love Gorilla ladies, I really want one. Like, gross, yeah. <laughs> dudes, are, dudes are gross in that game. Uh -huh. A bit, but, well, meanwhile, everyone is just in love with, uh, well, yeah, like, if it had better armor, I'd wear it more often, the, um, the, the Gerudo outfit that the uh, women gets. But yeah, just that one bit, I was like, boy, you're handling this pretty well. And then the reveal of, like, oh, this, they've got a beard. Like, all right, did you, yeah, really, did you have to go there? Like, you're I, doing so well. You're going to have to restate how 90s this game looks. Look how 90s yes. this is. Oh, my gosh, there's a climbing gym. This is one of the new maps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That they, that they showed off yesterday on their Twitter account. It is, it's basically a, a discovery zone. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that. you're so right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's a only 90s kids will remember yeah. like situation. I, well, I had I ate a lot of ice cream cake for the cakes. After they were, I played a lot of Godzilla the animated series laser tag. At wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after they stopped being dark child bars, I think Chuck E. Cheese's all turned into Discovery Zone type like setups, right? Yeah. yeah. With, like I things to perfect. climb on. Yeah. And bright colors. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese when I grew up was a dark like child pit where Good. robots sang to you and you ate bad pizza. Well, or like on that sixty joke, you just yeah. throw them in the ball pit. Like, like yeah. don't go in the ball pit. It's a trap. Oh, never do. <laughs> The, I, I want to get conjunctivitis. That stuff. Like, I always liked the, like, kind of bullpit slide section of the Chuck E. Cheese because, like, I was limited on my tokens. Uh, so, like, you know, you, you go through the Ninja Turtles arcade game and then you were out and your mom was like, no. And so I, I, like, I just gave you $5. Yeah. Like, it lasted 10 minutes. This game is hard. <laughs> It's made to steal your money. But I can wallow in these plastic balls forever. Maybe, Bob, with your with yeah. the ghoulies, you should be I focusing should be on killing more. the other. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you're not going to have a roller, you should be more on shooting other guys than spreading the pain around. But it just doesn't seem you don't have a roller on your team taking that much needed roller position. Like, that, those ghoulies seem your much more. I don't know where my team is, actually. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Actually, oh, one you dropped out. You're just down to. Oh, man. No wonder. Oh, all right. No wonder you're there. Yeah. Um, From the Or says the soundtrack really feels similar to Japan Radio 2. Yeah, I, I think that's also a part of it. Just like everything about it is a very similar art style. Like, what's. Look. Nintendo would Point never admit they for, got like, it. Yeah. For that? Because, like, yeah, I know they would definitely. If you asked them, they would say, we've never heard of that game. Totally. Like, just like, what's Ratchet and Clank? Sega does not exist. Yeah. yeah. We destroyed them. Yeah, basically, right? They would just hold up the head of <laughs> Nagajima and be <laughs> like... We have conquered this thing. <laughs> Why did I jump backwards? Uh, just like... I mean, come on, it's over. You got yeah. like, you see, you saw that, man. I don't think I can jump with Doolies. I think I can only, I can only do the, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, they got two kill boy. Yeah, this, is, this is a blowout. Yeah, yeah. I'm not happy. I'm gonna choose that different weapon this next time. Ooh. Yeah, there's no even question there. Ooh. So we thinking that cat is the other one's kid. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah. Like junior. Hey. Yeah, don't be Look at this. Junior, Elite the beat. My yeah. team sucked. Yeah. Forget that then. Yeah, yeah, good. Elite beats on the list now. <laughs> You're on notice. You're on the list. 
That's like a okay. So that is a super soaker. That's why yeah. this game is so nineties. That's another thing. Yeah, very nineties and super soaker. And just the kids. I mean, the backwards hats, the outfits. They all look like they're part of the Burger King Kids right. Club. They totally do. Yeah, the kid in the Kangle hat. Like, maybe this is nostalgia no for the people who worked hat. on it. I know, honestly, you're right, it probably is. They're like, it's like when we were kids, and it's like, yeah. ooh. I assume everyone who is working on this game is like in their late 20s, early 30s, perhaps a little older, and they are reflecting upon being young in the 90s. I'm sure it was very similar in Japan as it was in America. But damn it, so. they had better cartoons. Yeah. This is not to keep talking about this today, or the all time for this today, all day, because it's great. It's <laughs> like what Sunset Overdrive wanted to oh, look like. Yeah. yeah. They, right. like, they, they did their they, best. They, and I like the look of that game. It came yeah. close. If only it was fun to play. Uh, yeah. I don't think they went far enough. I think uh, you're right. They were they were a little too conservative for trying to be a wild, wacky, like Jet Set Radio style, uh, you know, aesthetic. Yeah, I think he still wanted it to kind of feel like it was grounded in the real world, even though like it really wasn't. Well, they wanted like human dudes in there. You know, they wanted human shape. In it. They didn't want to get that crazy with it. Though I, I, one of my favorite um, interviews, like or uh, yeah, interview, but it was like the presentation of. Uh, I went to a presentation demo thing. Oh that man, that's an overdrive. Someone's sniping. That's oh, a good. Right. They need us a good sniper. Yeah. Um, the, the developer of it talked oh, about how they. Wow, uh, that was, that's like. Spawn camping. Yeah, yeah, that's not cool. The Sunset Overdrive developer was just like, I we made resistance because my daughter had just been born, and I was like, oh, the world is doomed, and it's so hard for her. And I I'm just, he just would like, he just imagined the end of the world, and then he said when he started working on Sunset Overdrive, his daughter was six, and she was a crazy creative goofball, and he was like, no, this is what my the world of my daughter's like, silly things. And, just. Still destroyed and swarmed with zombies, yeah. but fun. But they want to have colors and stuff. He talked about how like he had to he had to explain to his daughter that she could go to school in her uh, Halloween witch costume. That's not fair. And uh, that, yeah, she should just go to school. <laughs> school is there for you children who can't be with every day. You can't be with yeah. everyone. Kill you. Kill you you gotta pound you down. You're the nail that sticks out. Did you guys ever wear like? costumes or something close to that. How far of a boundary did you push with like oh. what was considered normal school clothes? I went to Catholic school oh. uh, so and uh, okay. nothing. Yeah. That's a problem. There was a brief freak out when I painted my nails. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone dyed okay. their hair at school once. Yeah, that was kinda how it was treated. It was like, oh she this girl dyed her hair, she, 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 must, be she must be pregnant. I've heard of that. Or a lesbian, or her hair's cut slightly shorter. A not nice word for a lesbian would like be said. It, it was bad times, but things things are better now. Yeah, yeah things weren't always great in the next As time. bad as as bad as you might think things seem, uh, I feel like it's better in general. For kids. But you know, speaking of uh, Japanese kids growing up, like they, it's pretty much all uniforms everywhere. Yeah, schools. yeah. The way they express individuality is with like pen, uh, your pencil case or or Salt your bento your box bag, or, 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 yeah, or yeah. goggle. Yeah, that's why. Ooh. I'm going back to the paint yeah, roller. Yeah, roller was working I'm for sorry. you. Every team, I'm a roller or at least boy. like. But I want more. I, want, I wish on like Overwatch. I wish this would tell you like like you had three of the same weapon. Yeah. It should tell you like too many same weapon. Like someone yeah, needs to be a roller. Like, again, I'm on a team with no roller. I think that's the problem. And then if one you, person drops out. So I think somebody is just like, uh, it's, rollers are boring. I don't want a roller. But I do love the uh, rollers are where it's at though. But uh, I, I love just the arrow thing of the squid. Just how they yeah. get an arrow and just like how. I mean, Japan loves their squids and uh, it tearing them, them apart. <laughs> yeah. I They're do love tasty. the, the classic tasty. Nintendo squid design, the, the blooper. Yeah, and these are close to bloopers. And that, uh, and that, so, you know, before Splatoon 2 comes out, at the end of April, is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which the squid, uh, the Inklings will be in. You can play as the boy and the girl. Yep, they have their own thing. And then people actually have a screenshot of Inklings, Inklings driving next to, like, Grabbing the blooper for an item, <laughs> use in it, and they're like, 
Uh, this must be like staring into at your own like grip death or like something like that. I'm gonna throw my baby. It's got to be weird. Yeah, we don't know about the biology of the squid kids and uh... Well, people definitely in interviews ask that like, wait, this is similar to... These guys look a lot like bloopers and it's the usual Nintendo like talk around thing. Yeah. Like that. See? If nobody was a roller on this team, nobody would be even thinking about yeah, the thing like... you're doing here. Due diligence. This is something I think will be a problem though, is just that the uh... So what are people gonna do? Like just have on their their mobile, just get that mobile app and have the chat coming from their phone. Here's the thing: um, I never chat in, in Platoon. Oh, I never okay. even chat in Overwatch unless I'm playing with my friends. Like I feel like this game is uh, clear enough what you got. Yeah, do. yeah. And yeah. plus, if if you're not if you're not doing attacking, you need to be filling in you know the areas. Bob, don't forget you got your power up now, so right. use it when you when you wanna. Though I guess save it until you're in like. Danger. Yeah, I tried doing that a few times and it ended up screwing me up for that. I might use it in a space with a lot of uh, yellow. Things. But boy, with this splat roller, you're doing so much better. Yeah. yeah. I've just, I love the splat roller. It's, it's also very satisfying. We don't have sound in here right now, but I love the sound. It makes just the constant, like, squishing of ink. Yeah, they can all hear that. The Foley work on this game is just awesome. In the end, in the first one. Yeah, that nobody, uh, yeah, when I played this at an event too, nobody else on my team was doing the flat roller. I was like, dude, you gotta. Okay. Blammo. Oh, didn't, didn't uh, kill him. They got away. Oh, no. No, okay. Uh, D-Boy Neon. Yeah, D-Boy. Yeah, D-Boy. -boy. Right. <laughs> that felt weird. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Innocent. Everything, everything is innocent. Yeah. Probably. His name is probably Derek. Yes. Yeah. He likes neon colors. I see, boy. <laughs> boy, you, you guys, unless they've been like secretly painting up your corner of the map. I oh think no! Look. Oh man, you're Whoa. Look at their base. That's I actually like don't know how to insult. go straight to their base, bro. Okay, I gotta climb oh. up here. I was trying to figure out how to get over there. You have to take this bridge. Ah, uh, you only got 30 seconds left, bro. We're gonna totally. Uh, no. wait, is, that, is that a saying? Sure, why not? Yeah. Leave the floor with them? Yeah, that's, that's better. The clean house. Yes, eat all of our shirts. More Simpsons references. I don't know what we're all about. Holy crap! I'm oh, living. they also had someone leave the team. Oh, all right. Sure. Yeah, living. so it's still three on three, so who cares? Yeah. Um, you got a sniper who doesn't know what they're doing. Or yeah, they're look at that! Oh my look god, god. Yes. Who great. won? So tense. So your little dance kitties. Ooh. I love the arrow on their tail. That's, that's, that's a great little touch. I wonder who was the in play of the game. Look at that side swoop. I like that. I don't know if that's inferring that that guy was the best player, but he wasn't. Well, you covered <laughs> the most. Is that me? Yeah, that is me. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it goes straight to you, but then no, yeah. you were on top of that. List. I mean, it gives you points, but I would love an Overwatch system where it's like this is the best thing that Play happened the in the game. game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, it's not going to happen because I don't think they Look, would Blizzard's add something way like ahead that. of Nintendo yeah. on that kind of thing. They were talking about how just this game's going to have you know a first of spectator mode. They didn't have that before. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. So like, what what are the other new things in Splatoon two? That's what? a good question, and that kind of leads into Sasha up a bit. is asking, what's the difference? With Splatoon and Splatoon 2, so kind of same question. Um, yeah, so what's all what's all new? We have new weapons. Yeah, you got the the, the dualies are a big one in it. The uh, so it's like a dual, yeah, dual yeah. kind of more offensive based. I mean, I assume there will be hundreds of new weapons. That's just a new weapon type, which I, I assume there'll be like twelve different dualies you can, you can fire. New weapons, they they didn't talk about they, uh, Yeah, they. And then the spectator mode, boy, I've not been, uh, I've not been keeping up with it a ton. I just remember the, uh, that was his name, Hisashi, Hisashi Nagomi, uh, the producer on stage. He was just so awesome. He was just like, shoo. Oh yeah, the guy was he wearing a uh, like a lab coat and stuff. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And yeah, he was he was the Squid Research Lab. So I kind of really hope they build up uh, a lot more of the. Uh, they give more of a solo. They have more of a single player campaign too. You know. <laughs> You know what? I, I played probably a hundred hours of Splatoon, and I played maybe five of those single player levels. I never finished it because uh, I just I love the, uh, the the actual game part of it more. Totally. The multiplayer game. So I don't know. Are, are they gonna have single player stuff in uh, Splatoon too? I would assume. Yeah. Uh, but sorry, I. I don't know. Do you think that they're kind of like going after like the Overwatch crowd? They might. 
not continue. But I feel like Nintendo kind of is still yeah, about they, the single player experiences. They would make that consideration for sure. Uh, I power for the see. Ah, local multiplayer options. That's another oh, new that's thing. Oh, that's nice. Thing. Yep. Uh, and new special attacks for old weapons and new songs. Yeah. Woo! Oh man, the soundtrack for this game is gonna be so good. The soundtrack for the first game was amazing. Well, yeah, the Nintendo has been on it with soundtracks. Also, God, same with yeah. the. I mean. Mario Kart 8 True. had the greatest soundtrack. I, my, I just, it's so jazzy. I think it's one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. Yes, yeah. Well, and that it takes old soundtracks and re old songs and redoes them in great way too. Yes. Boom! Oh, oh shoot! Man. What even happened? Whoa! He he went up. He took cover in uh, the game and then popped right up and splatted you. Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> That's a rip. We have to, I feel like you have to take a second to explain that. That's it. a, uh, next four commercial from the 80s. From, yeah, from, like, even when we were too young yeah. for it. Yeah, <laughs> well, We just know it as a thing to say. Oh, uh, so we're just here to alienate people by speaking only in references. I played a lot of Connect 4 in the game. It was a very annoying thing. I think it's sis will get you and stuff. I think it's one of those uh, quote unquote solve games where you can always win if you have the first move. Yeah, you know exactly, exactly what to do. I definitely I played. I mean, kids aren't smart enough, enough to know that. Uh, right. It is a solve game. I'm pretty. I remember playing against like my younger brother and just destroying him every time like, before he quite like think more than one step ahead. Yeah. So it's just reactionary to defense and you like just trick him into giving yourself a diagonal up the line. I, I think ultimately the best part of Connect 4 is sliding that thing out and watching all the things fall out, all yeah. the ships. It's a nice, a nice sound. Mm, hard to tell. Oh, 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 I actually not pretty, that, was, that was a good match. My, You know, one of my favorite games with the sound was the plunk. Oh. The plunk. Just pulling those little straws out and then when they all fall, like, I prefer Kerplunk to Jenga, honestly. Jenga. You don't know what Kerplunk is, you create a nest of straws and then put a bunch of marbles on top of it and then slowly remove the straws and uh, whoever then, if marbles fall down, then those are your marbles and whoever makes the most marbles fall is the loser and the least is the winner. Good times. I've never played the Kerplunk. But they still don't have a date for this. They said summer, though, that makes me think like, I don't know, I guess it depends on how this test fire goes, if it'll be out before E3 or yeah. not. I mean, that's when I'm getting a Switch if I can get one, is for this game. I'm, yeah, I'm don't waiting. count on getting it. Yeah. Uh, though I just saw that, like, um, Amazon Prime had some sold, and I think I saw GameStop made some statement of like, hey, we're gonna have some this week, but they're not, it's not as easy to get a Switch as I thought it would be. Yeah. You uh, can get a Wii U, like, the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're not in demand. Uh, Front player says perfection had the best board game set. Oh god. Taking timer and exploding pieces. Oh my god, oh the that pressure. That was like, like... For anxiety ridden children, it was not a fucking Yeah, I, yeah uh, that I was did. like, it taught you how to be really stressed out. Uh, like, <laughs> I saw a commercial for that as a kid, or I saw, I saw it hundreds of times, and I, and I was thinking, I hope I never have to play that game. Yeah, I hope, I, I hope I'm not at a sleepover when they have this game, I don't want this. My, like, friend had it, but he, like, I mean, it was, it was nice because you could play it by yourself. <laughs> it's really only, like, a one-person game. Uh -huh. I mean, like, you definitely, like, you get two people in there and just became, like, this, like, move, no, stop. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> those, but those... he was so good at it that it was basically, like, he had just memorized them all. Uh -huh. So he would just, like, look at the piece and go, boop, 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 uh -huh. boop, boop, boop. He mastered he, it. Wow. Yeah. He prestiged it, was, like, it. It was well before, like, speed runs were a thing, but uh -huh. you probably could have been, like, perfection, doing, like, perfection right. stuck. Help stacking champion or something uh, like equivalent. I I was always afraid of those games that were built around a moment of surprise, like Crocodile Dennis. Like, yeah, one oh, second yeah. this thing will snap shut. <laughs> I we lost the like thing you were supposed to use for that, so you put your finger in there. Oh my god! I Whoa! Forgot. And that thing came down hard. Uh, yeah, it was like yeah. a mousetrap. Yeah, yeah. It, it was not fun. What a dumb game that was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't wait, Daddy was also like annoying that way too. I didn't have Don't Wait, Daddy. I I had. Um, Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur. Oh. You'd, um, you'd spin, you'd, uh, well, it was just Dizzy Dinosaur, where you have, it was just too random, it didn't work as a game where you'd have to wait and see if you, uh, you put up all the, you'd stack up a bunch of cavemen, and then it's like, oh, it's dinosaur time, and you wind up the dinosaur, 
and just so, put it down on the map, and you're like, well, this is too uncontrolled, and it's just waiting to see where a wind-up toy randomly goes. What you're saying is it is historically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one where the shark was, like, chomping around the board, and you were like, well, oh, you yeah. move? I remember that being annoying because the shark was constantly moving, so if you were in last place, like, someone would just take their sweet time rolling the dice. <laughs> like, oh, let me just, like, wait, you'd be oh, like, yeah, Ryan, yeah, stop yeah. it! Oh. I like that one. I know. I don't think I ever owned one or had one as a kid. But if you, if you go to a toy store, you'd see these things up. Um, Ooh, yeah. Ooh. You go to a toy store. It was one of those like little mechanical snapping fish, and you put the magnet. Oh right yeah. There. I was actually thinking of that, but I couldn't figure out a way to convey that information. Yeah, like, I mean, like open and close their mouths. But this gets into the Japanese toy. It's it very, felt it's very like clever. It, yeah. yeah. Well, and the way they, the way the fish were designed, it. It felt very like anime, or the same kind of design as in Splatoon. I never played with like electric talking Battleship, but it, but it, it always seemed to mean it anyway. Like Battleship is about talking to each other, not not letting a computer oh, tell you. you just sit there in else. silence, pressing like, buttons, and let the computer tell you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess part of Battleship is trust too. If you, if you if someone can just lie and say like, no, I nothing's there. Trying to move their boat. It's you about the uh, the nightmare of modern warfare. <laughs> just sit in the you silence. You never know where anything is. And push buttons, and maybe you'll blow something up. Oh, Whoa! Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I would have bet it would be closer than that. Yeah, it's hard hard to read that sometimes in like colors to see, to see which ones are actually winning. Uh, what was that mechanical strike board game? I don't know. Find it. I gave you a description. If you, if you can find the name of it, uh, I'll give you a shout out. Even though it's just fun flavors, we've been chugging you out all day. It's Don't make um, Sharky. Yeah, some. It's called like Shark Chomp. Sure. I also um, like things. Papa Matic games. Like honestly, every yeah, every like board trouble. game should be Papa Matic. That was a very because... satisfying uh, like. Re interaction well, with the children board game. are just going to lose dice. So have them in a sealed container, and there's no way to lose dice. I do remember there was uh, there was trouble, and then there was the other version of trouble called headache, which I assume was from uh, the UK because the commercial was a bunch of British children, and one said, oh, "I've got a headache." <laughs> they all have terrible teeth. Uh oh. <laughs> we uh we played sorry at my house, which is just like. Yeah, what is Sorry? Sorry oh, is... Oh, it's a mean game. It's mean. So, like, you're just trying to, like, go around the board and get your pieces up into your goal, but there's these, like, lanes that, uh, that you're on, and if someone lands on the, like... In the middle the of it. The start of the lane, yeah. they slide their piece all the way down it, and every piece they hit goes back to start. And that's when you say, Sorry! Uh, sorry! sorry. They, should up, they should update that for modern kids and call it Get Dumped On. Yeah. Get Dumped On. Just it's, give it like a little, like... It is a very passive-aggressive game. Like, it's just like, Sorry! It me. always ended with an argument. It was like, yeah. like yeah, because you'd say it, and then like you'd be like, Mom, they're saying sorry in a mean way. And she's like, that's kind of the point of the game. Mom, he's not You're nice. You're not actually yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, I... It was. I, they could call it sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Monopoly. Monopoly is the meanest of game. There it was in our house. It's just yeah. like, okay, make a deal, and you just go to like, mom, he won't make a deal with me, and it's just like, yeah, that's the point. That's the not point. So, he's not supposed to sell you this this place, or he knows you want it, so he's not selling it. That's not fair. It was only later in life that I learned that no one plays Monopoly the way you're supposed to play it. Oh really? Where it's like, oh, if you don't want to buy the property, you have to have an option. Yeah. Yeah. We never did that. Uh, we're just like, oh, I'm not buying this next turn. The Sega Genesis version made you? Yeah, Nintendo too. And I was like, wait, what? Like, I'm pro auction. You should have to do an auction. Somebody that, has to buy it. That turns an already long game into an unbearably long game. Hey, if you don't set aside eight hours for Monopoly, then you didn't. You're not really into it. My, uh, here's a weird fun fact. My grandma's boyfriend was a competitive level Monopoly player. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And so when I was at my grandma's place and we played Monopoly, he would come by and like give us tips and like backseat games. Like, you want to be the A thimble. bunch of eight-year-olds. <laughs> like about, like he's like, oh, don't buy St. Charles Place. Never buy that. Like you should fucking be like, dude, yeah. like get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the stats. Like people are more likely to win yeah. this. Well, the guy was not my grandpa. Leave yeah. me alone. <laughs> What were the, uh, my, everybody wants Boardwalk and Park Place, but really the green ones before they're better. Uh, those were always... His strategy was always to pick the, like, 
and ends of the boards because uh, like so so like dark blue, yellow, light blue, or it costs as much as the beginning section, uh, but they uh, charge more. They charge they more when yeah. you do it. So when you upgrade them, it's, you save money. That makes um, sense. Okay, that was the base strat I remember from him. Yeah. I just remember him being like, for somebody who played games professionally, he sure wasn't fun. <laughs> he made it it's into not a not fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, those were my favorite. My my ones that uh, it actually is how my brother would learn to be being just like. You want these ones too much. I'm gonna if I get them, like you're screwed. I've never saw them. You need to get a poker face. They were, but he, and from playing them enough times, he's like, he knew I wanted the orange ones that were right next to, uh, uh, like New York and whatever that were right next to the uh, the jail. Oh, from the yours came through. The game is called Shark Attack. Shark Henry. Attack. Oh no. This one. Yeah. Oh, I know Shark what that attack. is. I think I just liked the cartoon. It was like I well animated. Cartoon. Oh yeah, my wait, god. You just kill time. You yeah. Just screw somebody. You have to have like you a want, clock on you them. You want you, everyone to succeed, really. It's basically yeah. like you play until everyone's gone, until one person left. So, like, I don't know. You're missing the point if you were, like, taking time. I like that animation, too. On that yeah. All those people are dead now. Oh, uh, those yeah. children <laughs> are dead. Come he on. ate them. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought you were saying the actors. Oh. Uh, <laughs> No, I meant, I meant the cartoon the characters. The cartoon characters eating. who were getting eaten by the yes. biggest shark ever. Uh, to be fair, we did pretty well with one person not on our team. Oh, yeah, you know what? For him, yeah. 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 Hungry, they, hungry they hippos was just yours. about, like, breaking it. it just oh, like, oh, break, break. destroy that thing. Yeah. yeah. Slamming it. Well, and the older that you got, the more pressing power you had as you got older, and so you just kind of, like... You're ten. You can't play this anymore. Yeah, no, no one to, I knew had a fling crap everywhere. No one I knew had a working hungry hungry hippos <laughs> game. It was all like, well, the like green hippos sucks. Are good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also had I w I had the board games that were based on things I liked, but the board games suck. Like the the Ninja Turtles one, which was like collect pizzas and then put them on like a seesaw and flip them. Oh uh, yeah. Can you flip this manhole over into a pizza? Made no sense. I had really... the the very boring Simpsons dice yes! game. Yes. Oh, that Simpsons game sucked. I mean, the dice were cool, but it was just like I'm rolling dice and like having getting. Ch it's just like gambling, basically. Just like. Well, was that the one that also had trivia in it? That was just like uh, season one trivia. No, I, that's uh, the Simpsons. Uh, I have that at my house actually. It's the Simpsons uh -huh. Game of Life or whatever, or uh -huh. Simpsons Mystery of Life game. Yeah, the, that's the one. The I one I'm thinking of is um, the dice. It's just like you roll dice. And it, you you bet on what will come up and stuff. It's just uh, not very good. It's just craps. You're just playing craps. Yeah, it's basically gambling. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, for those of you in the chat, yes. hey. we are playing Splatoon 2's uh, beta right now, a global test fire, and we were talking about nostalgia because this game is like yeah. getting us very nostalgic for childhood. It's a very like a 90s. It's so 90s. Era it's reminding me of the aesthetic. 90s. Aesthetic. Uh, if you guys are in the chat right now, what? board game did you grow up with that you loved or like hate loved because I think everyone had board games and you didn't mm. like them but they were the ones you had and so your friends would come over and you'd make them play and there's always like this is what you're into and you're like no man so it's just that like this is what, what I got for my birthday I learned how to my play friend this. had the amazing grape escape Oh, Ooh, I didn't have that one. Uh, it was basically kind of like mousetrap in but that like the... it took forever. Like you'd build it piece by piece as you played the game, but no one played it that way. You just built the whole thing and then you smushed uh, the Play-Doh grapes. Your uh, piece was a little Play-Doh grape you would mold, and right. like and then certain sections of the thing were like traps that would squish you, or you would go through the whole like Rube Goldberg machine and get squished. I that definitely cool. saw that commercial roughly nine thousand times, and I know the entire song. That's the That's way you, you do it when you, you play, play the great escape. escape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that game is fun for me. You won. It's not too late. The second you said one word of it, I was like, oh, yeah, there's a commercial. There it is. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're raised by television. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then at the end, the thing goes, phew, because it, it, it misses it getting yeah. squished. Right. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that game had this weird, like... Like, it would try to be tense, but you're like, I know I'm not going to get hit by that boot because I'm spaced next to it. So yeah, everyone, let's turn the crank. Like, yeah. well, speaking of mousetrap, that never works. Mine worked a couple times. Like, so. three steps of it would work, and then it would just be like, oh, no, that, that didn't Well, the most annoying part was when we get to the end, and then it would, like, tap the thing that's supposed to drop. That, just that part would just be like, going, no, nope, not that. The can, I guess, oh, I guess you didn't lose. And, uh, yeah, I... 
Uh, the one I would hate that we never owned but I'd go to a friend's house they pulled out would be the Oh, it's a, like cherry picker or something, or cherry oh, basket. Uh, like, oh, yeah, uh, like, bucket of cherries, or yeah, bucket of cherries. You just have like, oh, you grab these little cherries, and yeah, it was just, it just seems so lame. Uh, so Farmer says, back off, buzzard, with his like love hate for game. I don't remember what that. What country are you from? Back, back I off, feel like I've what seen that ad what era are you from? Browse. Yeah, what era are you from? What time do you feel from? It sounds like it comes from the same school of thought as. Ah. Okay. Back off, watching, buzzard. Watching oh, it's got oh same same animation as Shark Attack. Must be from the same company then. He's a dive bomb. And, oh, this one. Oh, this one was one of those ones that was like too complicated to function. Uh, like he knew it was gonna break. There you go. Oh, now I have to it's like, this. Oh, with the swoop down I and remember. grab people. Uh, Except like for it a, never did. It just it's like a pyramid and stuff. I love the way the kids are acting. Ah! Oh, they might, they might that kind of reminds me of Forbidden Bridge. Oh, yeah, from oh, Forbidden Bridge. This was like Shark Attack for people who were rich. I couldn't uh -huh. afford back on Buzzard. Oh, that kid just got swept up by a bird of prey there at the end. He did. I, I did like, I, I had a rich friend who had Forbidden Bridge, and it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. You would uh, you would roll a die, I think, and then it would tell you how much the bridge had to shake. And you could guide the lock. <laughs> I remember whatever toy. Like, <laughs> the uh, they all scream. <laughs> They're like, ah! I think we'll never scary. see him again. <laughs> <laughs> the real question of what uh, board game you had as a kid is which successfully uh, gave you an ad, like yeah. advertised you the best. Wow, you guys are not doing good, and they they actually have one less person on their team. Yeah. You're really doing bad. <laughs> yeah, hey, one person could have dropped out without me knowing. It's possible. We'll I'm see the play of somebody else. Also, I was trying to watch that Buzzard cartoon. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. distract you quite a bit this round. Your team doesn't realize you're watching a Come on, a guys. Commercial. We got Wolfroy. So we have time for one last match, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, we yeah we're going to do it until, until it shuts down, maybe? Until Nintendo shuts down the test fire, we'll just keep playing. I did pretty well compared to the rest of my team. Yeah. With zero kills. Cream esque. What the heck? Yeah, I'm sure I remember. That was the person on your team. Oh, and I also, Risk, we played all the time. Risk. Oh, we're still playing with Cream esque. Risk was the meanest. Like, that was, I think, you know, I forget which one I slammed the door, like, like when I lost to my brother or mom. Uh, I forget which one I did the most of, like, I'm going to my room, slam the door, like, you're all mean. I don't know if I did that more with Risk. Actually, Risk more because. If that, I think this maybe only happened once or twice, but of just like two brothers asking their mom to team up with them against the other brother, uh, like how are you not going to involved. hurt? How are you going to not hurt feelings in that? Yeah. Do families still play board games with each other? Probably just staring at their phones. I right? bet modern society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There. So like the nice thing about phones is that they've made it so like there's connected games, right? So like yeah. you have the ability to like. It's harder to cheat, right? You can't look at someone's cards because it's like attached to your phone. So you're kind of that modern era of board games. But yeah, you I turn think, Big I think Brother into a board game. Just board like, game. Oh, we're all so watching you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that's why some of my favorite things I've had at game nights at friends' houses have been playing the uh, the, the Quiplash or all the the uh, Quiplash Fibbage. All those oh, uh, modern, Jackbox yeah. games. The yeah. Jackbox games modern are great games. because all you need is just a console and then a phone, and everybody likely has a phone at that. Actually, I think like apples to apples is the, the new, you know, board. Yeah, game. well, and that's also that's, I hate apples to apples. That's by what the way. adult board game nights are. Of just like I'm really amazed. Whoa, he's in a grave. Board game nights for people people in over twenty five are just like. We're gonna ask weird sex questions to each other, or let's play the game where we all lie to each other. I don't know. I mean, I those games are fine, but I don't need I don't need prompts to tell jokes with my friends. You know, we just tell jokes to each other. <laughs> That's true, but I do like the setup in the uh, in the Jackbox. Game. I love Jackbox. I was talking about like Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't need I don't need Cards Against Humanity to do that. Yeah. Cards Sorry. Cards Against Humanity is interesting because sometimes you play with someone who like either didn't get it or just like was too pure. Yeah, there. they couldn't go there. Break just the like, game. Yeah. yeah, like you'd be playing your, th you had to like, you would just adapt and be like, what would she think is funny? And it's just like, she yeah. had to go like random instead of like clever. 
So, it was always like a new interesting challenge. Um, well, not to sound like a piece of crap, but it's also <laughs> right? it's also a thing of like professional writers working in a creative game against people who don't write for other games. Yeah, I, think that's I, I, I was gonna say I always got mad playing Cards Against Humanities because I was thinking, you know, mathematically my joke is funnier. This is just, this is just a popularity contest. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. I always that. was mad when my joke wouldn't win. So we would play. I remember playing an IGN and Brian Altano and I would like share our cards <laughs> and like come up with additional jokes and uh, keep doing it and they'd be like, what are you doing? And we're like, we're playing a whole different game uh, over here. Like, I'm here. just interested in the comedy. Like <laughs> You're doing fourth dimensional uh yeah, that's right. No I no one's taking care of this whole thing. Yeah. I, I prefer cards against humanity to to the games that are just like, I'm lying to your face, ha 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 like it just that's just a thing for me I really do games that are I just well, also, I'm just terrible at them. That's probably why I hate them. It's just like, oh, I'm not the spy. Um, it's this like other play, like, guy. Werewolf. Yeah. Well, all my friends know. Yeah, I effing hate werewolf. I really do. <laughs> what, what is well, werewolf? Well, because all my friends. It's like when you close your eyes and. Um, it's sort. Yeah, close your eyes. I hate one that of these game. people. And, but it's also like my friends all know my tells, and they they just know like if I'm adamant that I'm not the wolf, then they know I am not the wolf. But well, meanwhile, if I'm just like yeah, no, I'm not the wolf, they're like oh, okay. Take me. I don't know what party I was at. Did someone like touch you during that game with your eyes closed? Or you something? close your eyes. Yeah, it also <laughs> is a very. Oh, I don't know what party you're at either, man. It's like, no, it's you all sit in a circle. You yeah. Close your eyes, and then the boss, the leader, the mayor picks three people who are the werewolf, but also picks like people to be the werewolf. They pick you by touching you, so you know. So yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is also you a child. You can also like game. assign out cards and you look and you see what like your role is. Yeah. There's variations you can play on duck, it. Duck, goose, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there are variations on it that are like, no, this is a card. Game. Or I played one that was pretty much just like we ripped off. Uh, we ripped off game, not game from uh, Hunger Games. And, so are you the regent or the spy? I was like, yeah, right, I get it. Like, I just hate the lie games. Because also I do feel it's the point of the game, but I don't like it. But it's just like, you'll be trained uh, by your friend lying to you. And then they find out that they could just lie to your face so easily. Isn't that fun? Uh -huh. <laughs> it just brings me down, I man. My friends are deceptive. Frontier says, in high school, I had a friend flip the board Ooh. after seeing a game of Candyland, yes. which oh. leads me to have a lot of questions. Uh, <laughs> first off, what, why were you playing Candyland? And two, I'm now remembering that in gosh, preschool, I'm having a preschool flashback oh over here, dude. I used to stack the deck to cheat at Candyland. I don't know if you remember Candyland. <laughs> yes. You pull a card, and it's either a color or it's one of the characters, and you move to that space. Mm. So the, like... Frosting Ice Queen was like the last person, and then you were basically like two moves to the end. And so I would like just slip the that card, card in there, yeah. and I'd be like, "All right, here we go!" Like, like you can go first, and like I would be third, and I'd be like, "Oh, cool, great, boop!" And then the, the and Candy then, like, Lane Hustler. Yeah, I love. Like, yeah. Next turn, I was like, I won. And I don't know why I thought that was funny, but well, that's my why record it's a, was solid. That's why it's a baby game because it's just you <laughs> don't game. even I, I you don't even say. roll dice. It's just like. Well, actually, I read this great art. I, I read this very funny comic strip about how it's, it was it was like Sartre talking about how <laughs> Candyland represents, you know, how fate truly is and how it is the greatest game because it's just like the winner has already been decided when the deck was stacked. Yeah. You're just finding out as you go. Wow. Like you always like there's no you have no chance in it. It is simply fate. Yeah. I think uh, Shoots and Ladders is probably the ultimate baby game because yeah. all you do is roll a die and then move. There's no currency or tokens or yeah. cards or anything. That's just... also as as a kid I uh, somebody had like an imported version of it that was the original Snakes. Snakes and yeah. Ladder, yes. Like Snakes. So we had like this really old version in kindergarten. Did they shut it down. That was like, like I don't know, deeply religious. Okay. Like they, it felt like biblical serpents. Yeah, and, like uh, like something. it was definitely like they they kept going like one of them like you definitely went to hell like. <laughs> Was were the slides all labeled like drugs, comic books? <laughs> These will bring you down. Stay yeah, out they late. were always like, I don't. Was your version illustrated that showed you why you were going down? Oh no, not, not I don't like think that. so. It like had like a sin Man. at the start of the snake, Ooh. and then it was like like oh like he stole something, and then it was like getting arrested. <laughs> and it was like oh no, and then like 
it was like virtuous things, like helping a lady cross the street was like a shoot. Snakes Boy. and ladders is getting too preachy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, thought it was really weird. Uh oh, we are at 105. They we, might have shut this it might, down. This might be done. The guy in Kyoto just pulled a giant oh. lever. Oh wait, let's <laughs> see if we can get one more. Mm. Yeah, I would. I, like it was supposed it. to end at 12:59, and it's now 106. So. Yeah. Well, weren't those people playing Halo 2 for years after the server closed? Just as long as going. they were in the game, they couldn't actually shut it down officially or something like that. Well, I don't know. I didn't do the previous test fire, so I don't recall how strict it was. Yeah. I missed out on that. But, you know, the, with this coming and Mario Kart 8, like, the Switch is getting it together. But, boy, this, look, Zelda is enough to keep you busy for a month. Yeah. But it does feel Except weird to just be like... <laughs> Yeah. Couldn't, I, couldn't you put Super Mario World on here? Could, no, too been, too complicated. Would it have been that bad? Like, I'm not even asked for like Chrono Trigger. Just like, just a Super NES launch game on the eShop. Mm, all right, I'd say we give it another like yeah, 20 let's let seconds or whatever. Let's let that but, timer run down and then we can say I guess, but it keeps going back up every time someone like drops out. This could be it though. So how would you play Mario World with the, with these? Like, uh, you, you still did? got you what? You got four face buttons. You just wouldn't have a D-pad, but the stick yeah. would just work as a D-pad, and you've got the Z and L. This uh, uh, it work. That's doesn't that nah. <laughs> would be great. I'm um, saying that's that's how. See, it went back up to 120. Yeah. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. oh. All right. So this Do you guys remember? Our last yeah. 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 Board games. Oh yeah. I have oh, Captain Power. That was games. the only. VCR Those are great. Games I have like. Wayne's World. Oh, uh, go on YouTube. That's all on YouTube now. Oh, every wow. every VCR board game has been ripped. That's great. And isn't the uh, isn't it just Mike Myers and Queen's World? Board yeah, game? he just would come in. He'd be like, "Swing, hey guys!" Like, it was sure so you're... unbalanced too. Like they hadn't like maybe they put in just like filler like things that hadn't figured out to like randomize it. Uh, but um, every good like thing that happened happened to uh, the the, P the player who was Garth's car. Oh. <laughs> like so, we only ever played it once. Mobile? Yeah, we only played it once because one, like, you knew the order of it. It's like, yeah. oh, well, that's spoiled. I know, I know to like just do all this. But two, yeah, the yeah the video <laughs> was. I never played a VCR board game, but yeah, that seems incredibly flawed in that it's prescriptive. The the randomization, like, how would they yeah. make it even random? Well, I was saying even in those video games of like. Um... Like the, the original, you don't know Jack. Of, uh, well, I had this question before, though. We all know this. Like, I didn't play this place. That was a cool thing they did when they brought back you don't know Jack. That they just said, we have thirty. Oh, what? Somebody wants to see something. You just come in here, cat. Come on in. Hey, cat. Yeah. We are streaming. Oh. We're streaming. We're live right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some people like to use this as a phone or anything, but that was that was. Guys, that was Kat. She's a co-worker here. She's cool. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, I love Kat. Uh, <laughs> it's it's all been captured. <laughs> I'm like, Kat's great. Kat makes my job busier. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, anyway, this mix of colors is so 90s. Yeah. I, I, just love, it's I like, love that it's random, too. You don't it's, pick the It's the Gak game. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. I hated those. I hated those. It was good for about a day, then it got covered in lint and hair. And exactly. Got really the yeah. and like, Oops, well... Well, same with the like the funny foam or whatever. That's uh, all like foam. Whoa! Foam. It bounced. There was gag foam and I think like flues or something. I don't know. There was three different kinds of weird fake slime you could buy. Yeah, and, and it's squam. Oh, oh squam to sand. Yeah. yeah. That stuff all still exists. People literally just kind of sold it off to things. Uh, but but yeah, like foam still around. I had foam and I remember putting it into a ball and bouncing it to see Ohio go and it went out the window. What? what? Like, uh -oh. oh, goodbye, Flo. Bye. Yeah. Like, I mean, the real appeal. If you got it back, it would be filthy. Yeah, it was like somewhere in my yard. And I was like, oh well, that's gone. The real appeal of Gak, which they advertised, was it makes fart noises yeah. inside the container. So yeah. there was that, and I actually had a Gak inflator, which would make giant Gak bubbles. Yeah. As a kid, I was never into the gross and it, toys. And it looked it's just fun. like these toys. Like, molded plastic on it for no reason, just to look cool. It's like, why is why is this like weird fake valve on here? <laughs> It's not doing anything. Yeah. It has a sticker on it. Yeah, everything looks like it came out of like some weird factory. Yeah, I guess that was just the aesthetic they were going for. Like, no, this came from the this well, it came from the slime factory. Yeah. The same. It's also funny to think of how Nickelodeon just oh, like yeah. co-opted like sliming kids, and I and I mean anybody yeah, under thirty. 
doesn't remember you can't do this on television, Drink. that's where that's where they would slime people on it. And, and Nintendo, uh, Nintendo, Nickelodeon just stole it wholesale. Like we're not putting a Canadian show on anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it's like we'll still be Canadian. So that was it, everybody. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Yeah, all right, I, I yeah. prove that I'm best with a roller. Yeah, and with uh, team members who are actually th are there. Yeah. I think you won the majority. I think you won more matches than you lost on this yeah. global test fire. So if you got the Switch, the next one, the Nintendo put up their whole schedule on there. I believe the next one's in about four hours. Yeah. Or yeah. Three, and three, then, four hours, but it's all weekend. Yeah, there's one at 8 p.m. Then there's one at 4 a.m. on Saturday. These are Pacific times. Pacific time, time. Yeah. and then some other days. You can find all the stuff online. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, we really appreciate following our channels. We are Get Fandom on Twitch, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter. Um, we are Fandom Video on YouTube. We'll be back with more awesome Twitch streams later. Uh, what comes out next week? Persona 5 Whoa. comes out. That's we'll... the week after that. Oh, boo. All right. Well, Sorry. when Persona 5 comes out, we'll have a launch day stream of that, so you can check that out with yeah. Henry, who's doing the review right now. Oh, um, if you have suggestions for games you guys want to see us do, please let us know. We love to do streams, especially on Fridays when we have a little bit of free time. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you back here on Fandom later. Bye, Bye guys. Goodbye.